With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So hello students. In this problem, we have given an isosceles triangle ABC whose sides AB and AC are equal and it is given if D lies in the base BC and the point E lies on BC produce BC being produced through vertex C. Then we have to prove that number first AC is greater than AD, AE greater than AC and AE greater than AD. So first of all we will draw the diagram that is the triangle ABC. So suppose this is my triangle. and we will name it as A, B, C and, and A, B is equals to A, C. So let us produce the B, C further and we will name it as point E. Let us first of all draw a perpendicular through side through vertex A. So suppose this is point F and we have taken a point D on side BC. So suppose this is my point D. Also we have to join the side AC and the side A. So we know the bisector of any angle at the vertex of an isosceles triangle bisect the base at the right angle. So according to this we have BF is equals to FC. So we have BF is equal to FC. In the next, we will we will use the Pythagoras theorem in triangle AFB. So in triangle AFB, we can see that a B square is this is equals to A F square plus of B F square. We will name it as equation number 1 and we will use the Pythagoras theorem in triangle A F D. So in triangle A F D we can see that AD square this is equals to AF square plus of DF square. So this is equation number 2. Next in triangle in triangle ACF we have AC square is equals to AF square plus of FC square. And we can write it as AC square is equals to AF square plus of BC square. This is your equation number third. Since FC is equals to BC. Okay. FC is equals to BC. So I am writing FC as BC square. Okay. okay. It means FC square is equals to BC square. Next. 
So since Since we have from the diagram BF it is greater than DF okay then from equation 2 and 3 from equation 2 and 3 we can say We can say AC is greater than AD. Okay, we can say that AC is greater than AD. So, my first problem is solved. Also, in the next step, we will use the Pythagoras theorem in triangle. In triangle AFE. So, after using the Pythagoras theorem, we can state that A square is equals to AF square plus of EF square. We name it as equation number 4. Next, so since EF greater than BF, from the diagram we can see we can see that EF is greater than BF. Then from equation number third and fourth. we get AE it is greater than AC this is the problem number second second part <coughs> next so in the last step for problem number third we can see that EF is definitely greater than DF then using second and fourth we can say that a is greater than a d Okay, thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.